Hey guys, Daniel Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in, if I sound a little aggravated, it's on account of because I am. Um, in our part of the world, we are dealing with predators. Uh, this, this summer, this is the fourth time this summer alone that I've had to set a trap line somewhere because of predators whether it's coyotes, we've lost calves to coyotes, we've lost uh, breeding ewes, uh, sheep to coyotes, uh, we've lost uh, rabbits and chickens to coons and possums. Uh, even in town, we, I've set a trap line for a friend who was dealing with some raccoons, and it's just this whole year has been just terrible for predators, uh, which is one of the reasons why I always say that traps are an essential part of the homestead equipment or tools, if you will, because these critters depend on us to protect them. They provide for us, but at the same time, we have to provide for them. And part of the things that we have to provide for our animals and our livestock is security. We can't, I, just, I can't sit out here at the corner of this pen all day, every day, all night, every night with my rifle and a flashlight waiting for something to come down the creek. But these traps can, so that's the reason why I uh, I'm not I'm not advocating any kind of animal cruelty. I'm not advocating setting traps just because you know I run a trap line in the winter time uh, when we're catching fur, uh, but that's part of how we make our money. And you guys have seen videos about that, and I've made several trapping videos in the past. This one here, uh, this video is why is even if I didn't run a trap line to sell furs or to catch fur, I would still have traps around. For this reason right here this is our grow out our pheasant pen we've got our little pheasants in here right now we moved them from the yesterday we moved them from uh, a bigger brooder box a bigger grow out pen down to the big pen and last night we lost three of our little baby pheasants that's a big hit we've lost a couple more uh, due to illness we lost some during the shipping process but losing them to predators is a whole nother story. That is, it's on me. It's my responsibility to make sure that these babies are safe. And I failed at that. I lost three last night. That's, that's a big hit. We can't take hits like that. We don't have the resources to go out and buy a whole bunch more. Uh, so we got to take care of what we got. And here's how we know what happened. You can see feathers. You can see feathers. And right in here, you can see where they pulled them, see how that piece of chicken wire is spread apart? What happened, we've got, this is two by four fence plus chicken wire plus this extra piece of plastic that we've had uh, to try to make this secure. We're gonna beef it up a little bit more with some more of this PVC board to bring it up higher to add some more protection. But I thought that these birds were gonna be big enough to where there wasn't gonna be anything to be able to pull them through like that. Uh, and as horrific, horrific as it sounds, uh, what happened was a raccoon, and I'll show you that I know it was a raccoon. I'll show you here in a minute how I know. A raccoon come through here, push his paw through. Raccoons have got really agile paws. And just there must have been a baby sleeping right there up against the fence. I don't know why they sleep against the fence, but they do. And that raccoon got a hold of that baby and pulled it through this chicken wire piece by piece. I know that sounds graphic. But it is, and sometimes things that you deal with on your homestead are extremely unpleasant. And this is one of them things that you, you just gonna have to deal with it one of these days when you're raising animals. We've had the same thing happen to rabbits. We've had the same thing happen to adult birds, chickens, pheasants, and uh, it's, it, uh, it aggravates me. So what we're doing is we've got our traps. <clears throat> I got a couple of different kinds of traps that we use for trapping specifically raccoons when I'm out running my trap line and yes I know these aren't dyed and these are rusty these are not prepared for a trap line yet <clears throat> we have one and a half and number two these are dukes this is a duke one and a half this is a number two you can set these on a trap line uh, up and down the creeks and the roadways and stuff and make them to uh, catch raccoons they work good and if you happen to catch a non-target animal, you know, they're usually, they're easily, you're released. You can hold the animal down and you can unlock the jaws and you can turn that critter loose. And it doesn't have any kind of permanent damage. Since I am trapping here around my home place, 
we have our other critters, our dogs and our cats that run around. So I am using what's called a dog proof coon trap. Uh, and this is designed to where it's, a, it's like a cuff. The, the raccoon will come through and raccoons, like I say, got really agile paws. You set this trap and as they're putting down in there, you put your bait, which I'm gonna use a little bit of cat food and I'll show you that. They'll put their bait down in here. They'll hit that trigger here on the bottom. And then when they do hit that trigger on the bottom, this piece of wire here will come through and that'll hold their leg. It'll squeeze their leg in between like that and it'll hold them in here with their hand inside this trap like that. Now, let's go show you how I know that this was a raccoon that did it. I mean, usually you can tell because of the fact that there's not very many critters out there that are going to be agile enough uh, and have the dexterity in their paws enough to reach through a piece of chicken wire and grab baby stuff and pull them through. Raccoons are one of them. Possibly a cat, our, not our cats, our cats know better. And I haven't seen any stray cats around. So let's go down here and we'll show you the sign and then we'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so we're down here on the creek just to the side of where our pheasant pen and our chicken coop is. We're just down here on this little creek. This, these are raccoon tracks. I'm not sure how well they're gonna show up on the video, how well the camera's gonna pick them up. There's quite a bit of shade down here on this little creek. But you can see we got raccoon tracks going both directions. And they're fresh. They're from uh, last night and this morning. So that tells me that those raccoons are going right down the creek down here a ways. And they're going right up to that pen because now they know that there's babies in there that can be got. So we are going to pick a spot and set our dog proof trap. And I'm going to set it right over here using this tree as an anchor. So I got my bucket. Got me a little bit of bait. Get my dog proof strap. These dog proofs will come with a, 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 a little section of chain, but I've put a couple of links on there and I'm using chain as an anchor. Uh, I'm using chain as anchors now because last winter during trapping season, I lost uh, a brand new dog proof trap to a nice great big coon who decided he was gonna break off my three strands of number two trapping wire and take off with my trap. I hate it when that happens, but it happens. So we're gonna set our trap now. You guys saw me set it earlier. There's a lot more better videos than mine out there about different kinds of dog proofs. They're really easy to deal with. You just stick them in the ground where you see a track. We know that they're using this creek because we can see more tracks that you're not going to be able to see on the video. So what we're going to do, this is going to be our first set. Dog proof coon traps are the only trap that I know of that you actually want your target animal to find. We're not hiding this. We're setting it right along an area to where they're walking because we want them to find this trap. I'm just going to take a little bit of peanut butter now. This is just regular old peanut butter. And I'm gonna put it right around the rim of the trap because raccoons have a sweet tooth. They are notorious for their sweet tooth. So we're gonna set this dog proof trap like that. And we're just gonna take a little bit of cat food. You don't wanna give them a meal, you just wanna entice them. We're gonna put it down in the very bottom of that trap to where that trigger is. Shake it around a little bit to get it to the bottom. And we're just going to sprinkle a little bit around the trap like that. They'll smell that peanut butter. They'll come over here. They'll investigate. They'll nibble on this little bit of cat food around. They'll smell the rest of the cat food in the bottom. They'll put their paw in to start digging for it, and they'll get, they'll get trapped. So that is our first trap set. We're going to set a couple more up and down the creek because these, these creeks and little, little roads and trails and, and stuff like that, uh, if you're having issues with animals, you can almost bet that they're using the same paths and creeks as highways. And that would be the first place that I would recommend that you look. So, there you have it. We're going to set some more traps. We're going to try to deal with the best we can 
our predator issues that we're having. We just can't keep taking hits on losing critters. Uh, and like I said, it's just this whole area that I live in is having these issues with predators right now. Don't, don't know why, but it doesn't change the fact that we got to deal with it. So anyway, uh, that is one of the reasons why I say that traps, even if you're not a trapper and you don't set a trap line uh, to catch fur animals, still having a few traps uh, as a part of your homestead equipment is it's essential. Uh, unless you have the ability and the time to set uh, next to your critters all day every day for several days in a row trying to catch, uh, trying to shoot whatever it is that you're uh, having issues with. So anyway, got some more traps to set. We got some, uh, they're going to try to beef up the pen a little bit. I hope this video helps. I know it's unpleasant to think about, but sometimes we have to do unpleasant things and that just uh, goes with the lifestyle that we live. So, all right guys, you guys have a great day. Uh, thank you very much for watching. God bless. Yeah. Buzz Buzz, the end.